Hello, I'm Michael O'Brien here. I'm Mepham tonight with Principal Mr. Harrington. How are you doing, Mr. Harrington? Good, Mike. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here. So, uh, first question, where did you grow up? Did you grow up locally or did you grow up outside of New York? I actually grew up, uh, I was a little mixed. I, I was born in Glen Cove. Um, when I was two years old, my family moved down to Florida, I lived in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where my father opened up a batting range, and that was his business down there. When we were, when I was eight, uh, my family moved back to Seaford, and I grew up in Seaford. Went to uh, Seaford Elementary School, Middle School, and High School. Okay, so you, your father opened a batting range. Did mm -hmm. you play baseball growing up? I did. I did. I played a lot of baseball. I played football, basketball, and baseball in high school, and then uh, I had the opportunity to play baseball in college also at Providence. So where you played baseball at Providence? Yes. So uh, you won the uh, Mal Brown Award in 1997 for sportsmanship uh, and courage. How does that affect your actions as a principal here at Mepham High School? Um, I think I've learned, I learned a lot of great lessons, you know, playing sports. You know, I learned about how to handle failure. I learned about being part of a team. Um, and I think most importantly, when I moved from high school to college, you learned that there were a lot of great players out there yeah. and that you had to work hard. And uh, I think that translates um, pretty well to what I do today. You know, I, I, I feel like I'm a member of a great team, and I feel that my job is to work hard for other people here at Mepham. So uh, did you play baseball after college? I did. I had an opportunity to go play um, independent baseball, uh, which is similar to the Long Island Ducks. I played uh, out in Clarksville, Tennessee for the Clarksville Coyotes for a year and a half. Okay. So after your baseball career, what made you want to pursue education? Um, well, I, I wasn't sure what I actually wanted to do, um, probably until about halfway through college. Um, I realized that, you know, it was sort of in my blood. Uh, I come from a family of educators, and uh, once baseball was sort of winding down and reality was setting in, um, you know, I had a long heart-to-heart -heart conversation with my father, and uh, he thought I should, uh, you know, pursue a, a job in education, and I was uh, given a great opportunity to become a history teacher at Island Trees High School. So that was your first job in education at yes. Island Trees? Yep. Did you have any jobs after that before becoming the principal of Meppel? Uh Yes, I did. After I, after I taught at Island Trees, I got uh, a wonderful opportunity from Belmore Merrick to go to Calhoun High School, where I served as the assistant principal for five years. So how did the students at all the other high schools compare to the students here at Meppel? You know, and I'm not just saying this. Uh, you know, for the last nine years, this place has been my home. Um, you know, I love the kids at Meppel like they're my own. And... Uh, you know, I count my blessings every day. There's not a day I don't go home and have dinner with my own family where I don't talk about the kids and faculty here and, and what gets done. So I'm very proud of it. How did the opportunity uh, come upon to become the principal of Meppham? Um, that, was, that was also a, a really fortunate opportunity. Um, I was only at Calhoun for five years and, uh, you know, um, had a really good team of people that I worked for and I learned a lot. And uh, the principal prior to, to me at MEPA, Mr. Didden, um, put his papers in to retire uh, probably in April. Um, and uh, at that point, um, you know, I went through the interview process, and uh, they took a shot on me. So, so where do you see MEPA in five to ten years? Um, you know, I, I'm really proud, as I said, of, of the work that gets done here. And I think something that we do really well is prepare students for life after MEPA but at the same time give them an experience that um, that they remember for the rest of their lives and that they love. You know, high school is a really important time in, in students' lives, and uh, I, I feel it's a, a time where, you know, they should look back on and remember with pride and, and with love. I agree. And uh, I think bringing in programs like this um, adds to the unbelievable experiences that we already have. You know, so I think that's really important for us to continue to push the envelope and look for new ways to reach other students um, and, and really give everyone that, that high school experience that, uh, that you know, people look back on. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully, uh, you know, here in Belmont, America at MEPAM, I, I love it. You know, I, 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 uh, you know, I've always said that I wanted to be a high school principal and, um, you know, I, I, it's an exciting job. Um, and, uh, you know, again, I'm just very, really happy to be here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Harrington. Great having you. Thanks so much, Mike. I appreciate it. Uh, Michael Ryan, we'll see you tomorrow night.